Am I the echo for refusing to tell my son's grandparents which of my children is their grandson? I know this sounds absolutely insane, so bear with me. I, 38 female, have an unusual domestic situation. My best friend for my entire life has been Adam, 38 male. We've known each other since we were babies. Adam is gay. I was the first person he came out to, and he was my roommate for a long time after his parents found out, and things got ugly. He married his husband, John, 39 male, who was also a close college friend of ours, so we've all been tight for a long time. I've decided that I'm not the marrying type, but I did want to have children, and Adam and John also wanted a family, so we decided to kill two birds with one stone. We have two sons, six and eight, both of which are biologically mine, and Adam and John are each the biofather of one of the boys. It's worked out way better than we could ever have hoped for. This year, we decided that we're going to go ahead and live together in a bigger home. The boys love us all being in the same house, and it's a good arrangement for everyone. Adam has been talking to his parents for the last couple of years, and they are trying to repair the relationship. He has been feeling positive about it. He asked, and we all agreed that they could come visit Saturday after Thanksgiving and meet the boys. Adam had already explained the living situation because we always thought of the kids as all of ours, and the kids call us all their parents. It didn't really occur to me that the bio percentage would be an issue for Adam's parents. Things were okay, and everyone was behaving until we put the kids to bed. I went to my room to give the others some space to talk. I heard Adam raise his voice a little, but decided not to get involved. Not long after, his mom knocked on my door and asked to talk. It boiled down to her and her husband wanting to know which of the boys was their grandson. They both favor me right now more than Adam and John, so it's not obvious. I had a suspicion that something was up, so I told her that she needed to talk to Adam and John about it. They refused to answer the question because both boys are their children, so she wanted me to answer it. It turned into a really uncomfortable situation. Adam and his dad aren't speaking, and I've gotten some messages from his mom trying to backtrack but also press for info at the same time. A friend of mine said that while it was smart to not disclose without consulting Adam and John, we're delving into the a-hole territory by refusing to explain the bio relationship involved, and it's not wrong for the grandparents to want to know, especially since John's parents know. They only know because they were very involved with helping us with the pregnancy and when the boys were tiny since my parents passed on. However, am I the a-hole? I don't think so, no, because that's your decision, you know, mm -hmm. to have a baby. And regardless of that, if you want that baby and you care for them, that it is what it is, you know, that's your yeah. son. And no one uh, can take that away. Yeah, away from you. And the, I see also the grandparents' side where they <laughs> want to know who's their blood. And that's how I feel like they're a, a Pro approaching it yeah like, who's my who's my blood and if they're not then they're technically not i think that's such a weird like i, I get it like I, I get where the where the root question is coming from but i feel like it's weird because she they're, they're i feel like they're trying to get an answer mm -hmm. because they want to act a specific way around one of them yeah. like let's say they're like okay well timmy is my kid but jimmy's not right yeah, timmy's so my kid jimmy's not my kid <laughs> Timmy gets all the good candy. yeah timmy's Timmy gonna get gets all the, all the good exactly. clothes the special treatment yeah and the other one doesn't screw jimmy you yeah know? yeah so like i don't think i think it is a kind of a good decision not to let them know who their biological son is mm -hmm. because um or i guess grand grandson because i feel like then they'll start giving them special treatment it's not what you want you know when you want to be a family when you want everybody to get along yeah and as a grandparent i would still want you know to love everybody yeah. the same but they're the ones who are asking so i feel like no she's not i feel like the grandparents could easily just kind of wait it out a little bit <laughs> and eventually they, yeah they'll, uh -huh. they'll, they'll, they'll look like out. yeah yeah because yeah. yeah, i mean like i don't i don't know their ethnicity or whatever but like what if like one of the guys is like asian and another guy is hispanic like you're gonna be able to tell when the oh, baby yeah. goes up a you little are. bit <laughs> like oh, i know which one's mine you know yeah yeah, the one with the big extra mustache, that's my kid, you know? Like, <laughs> the one, the, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, uh, so they can definitely wait it out. But I guess, like, my question to you here is, would you end up telling the parents or the grandparents? What would you do in the situation? No, because I know how they feel and I know where they're coming from. Mm -hmm. And if I want to avoid all that, like, um, judgment towards the baby, if yeah. they're not, you know, their biological grandparents... I know that I'll only be doing harm to the baby because that's, you know, that's how they're yeah. going to grow up. And I don't want that. So I would not tell them because the, the two guys are the parents, right? Yeah. And the lady, and it's not her choice, right? She's not the one saying anything. Yeah. I feel like she should leave that um, choice to the parents. Mm -hmm. And if they want to tell the grandparent, then it yeah. is what it is. But, I feel like um, a, it's a very interesting dynamic. I don't know if I could do that. 
like just have a kid with my best friend and then live together and then like yeah the that's best friend. Also very <laughs> strange. Like, there's too much going on yeah. i don't i don't know and then also i feel like i wonder what the kids think too like obviously obviously if the kids are growing up with this situation then that's what they're gonna know and that they're gonna be cool with it and mm -hmm. you know it seems like there's it's, nothing it'll be their norm yeah. yeah and it seems like nothing is wrong here right obviously there's nobody's fighting nobody's being abusive everything's chill so there's nothing wrong with the situation mm -hmm. but I, I wonder like how much confusion it's gonna cause down the road because i feel like you know she's the one who birthed him so yeah. she'll feel like very attached to him yeah. but knowing that that's their kid but no. it's also her kid too, because she too. wants a kid. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, that's so hard. No. And I also like, like, I wonder how that'll end up being once like they want to do more like life decisions. Because like, what if they want to go ahead and like move to Idaho, but she has her big corporate job in California, yeah. and uh, she's like, "Well, I don't want to go to Idaho." And they're like, oh, "Okay, no worries. Like, we're gonna go to Idaho, um, and we're taking both Jimmy and Timmy." Mm -hmm. And she's like, "Wait a second, no, what? What are you?" That's my She'll kid too. Yeah, stay like, with the one that's hers. That's <laughs> well, both of theirs are hers. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she's like, yeah. oh, well, both. I yeah. got the Jimmy and Timmy. Like, what do you mean taking yeah. them? So, what do you do there? You know, you have to bring in the court because think so. It's well, yes, because yes, yeah, she agreed to have a kid with them. Yeah, but their their kid. Oh, I don't know. It's confusing because <laughs> she's the mom too. Yeah, yeah. But none of. The guys aren't in a relationship with her, right? They just wanted no, to have... They're him. in a relationship together, but they're mm -hmm. not with her. Yes. But she but she still wanted the kids. Yeah. Like that, she, that, that's the reason she agreed to it, because she wanted mm -hmm. kids, but she didn't want to marry anybody. So yeah. So what do you do? You it's know? a throuple now. Yeah, so basically, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like it's a throuple, throuple but not actually a throuple, because yeah. she doesn't have any attachment to mm -hmm. them. But that that is a family dynamic that seems to be happening here. So would you give up the kids you think or would you ask for one of them and just take the other one the one you don't like <laughs> <laughs> i want jimmy but timmy you, you yeah keep jimmy. <laughs> oh that's hard because you can't choose between you know your ch children okay. it's always hard that's like picking a favorite like yeah. you can't do that you don't think you could no. no i think i would just have to like work a system out where like you guys get to take them both on a weekend and then i'll take them all the way to weekend. idaho that's hard <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't know mm. i think the court would have to get involved yeah yeah it probably sure. would get super ugly and messy yes. i guess that's my one concern of this whole thing y'all are cool and and you guys are working yourself out and stuff and uh i guess you figured it out but uh this is kind of messy and i feel like that's you, this is gonna end up happening at some point i don't want to put it out there in the world and hopefully you guys live in an amazing you know family dynamic for the rest of your life but i feel like it's gonna get messy at some point yeah you know Especially for them, because they're, like you said, the guys aren't in a relationship with her, but she yeah. wanted to have the babies. I feel like she should have gone another route, like through like 100%. a sperm donor or, I don't know, just not including your friends or like, yeah. you know, someone where you see every day or where you live with every day. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it was it was literally just like um, uh, a disaster kind of waiting to happen it, because he went this route. Mm -hmm. Because I don't think... as in theory, it sounds kind of fun, right? Yeah. You got to have roommates. Yeah, <laughs> you could have kids everybody. with your roommates and everybody's having a good time. Uh -huh. But reality is, like, if you involve, um, like, people who you don't expect to keep a relationship with the, or know in certainty that you're going to have a relationship with, then you shouldn't have kids with them, you know? Yeah, Would you ever go down this route, do you think? What route? Would you ever like end choose, up... Like, like, a friend to have a <laughs> yeah. baby with? No, because I feel like <laughs> at, at some point our lives are going to go in different directions mm -hmm. and and you can't stop life from happening. You know? yeah. I'm happy for them and whatever, but if it's not like my same, um, how do I say, like if it's not going like in the way that I want and it's only going to make problems. So I feel yeah. like the two guys should have like, because there's ways now, you know, to oh, have yeah. a kid with 100%. your partner. So I feel like that's how they should have gone about it. It would have been, like, much smoother, yeah. kept the friendship. They could have, like, told, like, their grandparents, mm -hmm. oh, we got a donor. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. That's it. What if you did have a kid with um, just one of your homies? <laughs> 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 and then um, uh, you guys just co-parented that person, right? Mm -hmm. And then one day he was like, yeah, I'm taking I'm taking Bobby with me. Because like, I'm dipping to mm -hmm. Tennessee. Yeah. That's where I'm going. <laughs> what would you do? Would you let him take Bobby? No, or? like... I'm, I'm the He's mom, like, oh, right? I'm Bobby's, the mom? Yeah. Uh, 
and uh, you're still with your partner, mm -hmm. and but you have wait, wait, wait. <laughs> So I met this one guy long ago, and yeah. I had a baby with them, no, and so things aren't working out, and then I have a new partner. <laughs> no, no. So this is a scenario, okay? Uh -huh. Okay, this is a scenario. You are still living your life that you are living now, okay? okay. <laughs> but you wanted to have a kiddo, uh -huh. and you were like, yeah, that homie that I have, he's cool, and he's willing to help us out having a kiddo. Oh. So you have a kid with this. <laughs> you have a kid with yeah. your homie. Two years later, yes. little Bobby's two years old, mm -hmm. but the homie's like, yo, Heidi, it's just, it ain't working out. Like, I want my kid, and I want to move to Tennessee. Mm -hmm. uh, tax rates are better there, you know, whatever it is, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, he wants to dip. Bobby's two years old. You let him take Bobby? No. No? No. But he's two years old. But I love the baby. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm attached to the baby <laughs> yeah. now, and I feel like... What if you didn't like the baby? What if Bobby just... He always kicked you. <laughs> For some reason, he's a kicker. No, I feel like I would work things out with the baby at some point. <laughs> you have to yo, like me. We gotta, we got, yo, baby, we're going to sit down and have I a know. conversation. <laughs> I have a whole degree in children. Like, I would want him to like me. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, we got, yeah, you did study, I like, did. child uh, yeah, psychology. Yeah, child and adolescent that. development. Yeah. yeah, so I'm, I know babies. Okay. <laughs> um, no, I think I would bring in the court and be like, we have, you know, like how the court does it where you have to like see or like split yeah. um, the responsibility. I could take one half of the kid, you take the other half <laughs> and we just figure it out. Like that right way. down the middle. <laughs> um, no, okay, yeah. Um, yeah, like that, that would have to go down like yeah. that because. I just think it's messy. I don't yeah. think anybody should do that. You, you just, okay. You guys messed yourself up. You entangled yourself in a really weird way. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, I guess actually that wasn't even the point of the story, so I guess we don't. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. <laughs> but you uh, wouldn't tell the grandparent. Yeah, you don't. That's yeah, it. yeah, that's yeah. it. All right, just not don't, don't tell the grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> and also be careful with your who life you decisions. Who you have a baby with? Yeah, who do you have a baby? Yeah. <laughs> Anybody who's new, who's looking at this video for the first time, subscribe, bro. Join us in this crazy neighborhood of ours, and uh, you know, just have some fun, silly times with us. Hear some Reddit stories, and let's see where the heck this goes. We'll see you in the next one. Laters.